In the process of putting in the 3D printer in the 3D printer workspace, I came across a lot of items, projects and whatnot I had been working on years ago and had not gotten back to. One of them was this building that was going to become Pavlov's house in the Battle of Stalingrad. And uh, I'm going to go a different direction with that project once I get back around to it. But these pieces of this building I'm going to try and salvage and we'll make ourselves something for Zona Alpha or any other 20 millimeter Eastern Bloc style game that we might want to happen to play with it. So let's see what we can do. The first thing I notice is that I cut windows in this and this was supposed to be just a test piece. It wasn't going to be likely the finished piece but we're going to make it into something anyway because I don't want to waste it. Uh, and some of these windows are not cut nearly as square as I might have hoped. So we're going to try to block these windows in first and give them some semblance of order. And we're going to do that while this is apart. I learned my lesson from the last time. It's so much easier to do these when you don't have something in the way like the rest of the building. So um, let's, let's get to that. So for this we're going to use some of our Eileen's Tacky Glue that uh, I use for just about everything because PVA is magic and we're just going to put that on with an old brush we'll just put some PVA inside the window And then we will cut a length of coffee stir to fit with our EMT shears. And because it's fiddly, I'm going to put that in there. Try to glue that so that it's more level than the window opening is. Okay, and uh, we're just going to go around all the sides of these windows, so we'll be back. And I should note that when I put these in, I push the sill forward ever so slightly so that it sticks out about a millimeter, maybe less. Just enough so that you can tell it kind of sticks out and it'll give that effect a bit of a shadow and when we do the finishing it'll it'll look a lot nicer. So we're gonna go around the rest of these. Okay so there's the ones on this side done and that helped dress those up quite a bit. They're still not really where I would like them to be but they'll do for now. Moving forward on future buildings like this I'm going to have some ready-made windows that I can cut out a standard size and just put them in there. Um, so, eh, but we're going to do the rest of it, so we'll be back. Alright, so there's those two sides done. Uh, this might take a while. Okay, so that, that did take a while, but um, didn't come out too bad, I think. What I'm going to do now is add, I've got one of the side walls up. I'm going to be putting the other one on momentarily but I want to also add some architectural details because the front of this building is a little bland so I'm going to take some of these basswood pieces and add them on here and also I'm going to use we're going to make it extra Soviet and we'll put a star on there and these are from a set that I got probably at the dollar store years ago. Uh, glow in the dark stars. They're very handy for things like this. So we'll glue that on and be right back. Alright, so that helped 
kind of break up the monotony of the face of that building. And I think I got that on there a little crooked, but once we get it painted, it should be fine. Yeah, it's fairly straight. But we're going to put the other wall on over here, and we'll be right back. All right, for a salvage operation, this is coming along pretty well. I added the other wall and then the two interior walls I already had done. And I realized this is kind of short to where the back wall is going to be in relation to that. So I will probably extend these. This will be a central staircase. And then these will be like individual apartments or labs or whatever. And uh, not anything super exciting, but it'll be useful. And like I said, it's a salvage. I, if I was starting this from total scratch, I wouldn't do it this way. But I just wanted to use this up and not let it go to waste. Okay, so I extended those wall pieces and fashioned a roof. And now I'm going to make the individual floor inserts, cat fuzz, and some stairs to go in there as well as a base. And then we'll have the back so that it comes off and you can get in there and put bandits or whoever. New Gopniks on the block. All right, so we've got a roof. I made individual floor sections. Uh, this wall extension, I ended up putting some supports on there with um, some pieces of basswood, and that's I kind of wish I'd done that originally, but like I said, this was a test piece and wasn't really meant to be on the table, but we're going to salvage it. So now, and little things too, is I took and sealed all of the edges with a mix of Mod Podge and black paint. If you don't have that, you can use PVA, that's fine. You just want to seal the edges so that if you end up spraying this, you don't melt the foam. So what I'm going to do now, I made a base out of matte board. Uh, you could use chipboard. And then I painted it with sanding sealer. And I would advise that for whatever you're doing because it, it makes it really, really tough. Um, basically fairly impervious to moisture and gives it a lot more rigidity <laughs> but um, it makes it a lot better for a base so I am going to hot glue this together and it's going to be like a monkey messing with a football but uh, we'll, we'll get it together okay that's together I uh, used a judicious amount of hot glue and it's a little kind of gooey on the whoops outside uh, but we can cover that up with some ground cover and whatnot, so not a big deal. The biggest thing is, is you want to put this together with all of the, or at least most of the floors and everything in there so that you get the right width, because there is some flex to this, and you don't want to flex it too far one way or the other. But, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it will certainly work, and uh, we'll figure out where to put our stairs and we'll move to the next step all right so we've got the floors in we've got our first staircase in and we'll start working on that stairwell in a bit I cut out a back piece that will use magical means to attach it so that it can come off and the building can be super tactical inside and what I said about uh, gluing this to the base being like a monkey messing with a football, I got a little crooked there. But it's close enough. It'll work. That's fine. We can, we can make that look okay. So we'll keep working on this in the next episode. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll check you later.